everyone, I am Andrea from the Tiny Telescope and welcome to my October 2015 favorites. My first favorite this month is one from the brand First Aid Beauty. I believe that I showed you this in a haul a few weeks ago and it is their Skin Rescue Deep Cleanser with Red Clay. I have been using their Blue Face Cleanser for a year and I switched to this one um, about a month ago because I have been having a lot of a breakouts and acne so I thought I would give this one a try and I have been loving it. I do alternate with the blue one. I tend to use this one at night and the blue one in the morning and it works really really great for my skin. Next two favorites are actually samples that I got on a birch box and they're running out which makes me very sad but I will probably be repurchasing at least one of them. Um, the first one is one that I've been using as a day cream and it is the Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Moisturizer. And I love to use this in the morning and yes, it smells very very good. It is very light which doesn't feel sticky or heavy on your skin and uh, yes, loving this. Second one that's a sample is from Clinique and it is their Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief one. I have been using this as a night cream. I am honestly not a big fan of the smell, but the texture, it leaves my skin feeling so smooth and plump and hydrated and I absolutely love it. It is really, really running out and um, I think if I had to repurchase one, this would probably be the one. Next product is one that my mom gave me a few months ago and I would say that it is a cult product. It is from the brand Nux and it is called Rêve de Miel. It is a lip balm that I think is made out of honey. It not only tastes really good, but it works wonders. I use this as a lip mask at night and um, absolutely love it. If you're looking for a great lip balm. This, this is fantastic. My next product is one that I saw in an ad and it is very rare that I buy a product after seeing it in an ad, but it honestly intrigued me. It is the Jorgen's Wet Skin Moisturizer and I have a very hard time putting moisturizer on my body every night. I hate feeling sticky when I go to bed I and then in the morning it just doesn't make sense because I'm gonna put my clothes on and it's gonna stick to the clothes so yeah I, I'm not a big fan of body moisturizer but my skin gets so dry in the winter that it becomes itchy and it's very uncomfortable so when I saw this I thought I would give it a try and I have been using it for a week and love it so the principle of this product is that you apply it as soon as you get out of the shower. So on wet skin, you just take a little bit of this and apply it on your body, and then you just pat yourself dry, and it, it works. I have to say it works. It does hydrate my skin. Now, it's not like a super heavy moisturizer. It doesn't feel sticky, um, but it does, I, I do feel the difference. So I have absolutely been loving this product, and if you are like me, and um, have trouble using moisturizer because you feel like it's sticky and you don't like it, give this a try. It is really, really good. My next product is a nail product and it is the Essie nail polish in the color Bahama Mama. I think the number is 400. I love this color. I feel like it's the, the fall color. I have been using it a lot this month. I absolutely love it. And uh, I have a feeling I'm probably going to be using it through winter as well. So when I said that I had a couple of random favorites, this is it. These are the random favorites. And the first one is a sewing machine. Um, it is the Brother Innovis, Innovis, I don't know how you pronounce it, 40E. It is a Project Runway limited edition, which I honestly don't really care about, even though I do really like the show. But the reason why I got this machine is because of the screen and all the different um, options that you have with it. It has so many things that are already um, 
in it that you don't have to do manually that make your life so much easier um, that I figured it was worth the investment because to be honest it wasn't cheap but a sewing machine is supposed to last for life I guess we'll see and um, I figured that since that's the case it was a great investment and my last favorite is actually something that I made with it now don't get me wrong this is not well made it was my first try using this and uh, I still have a lot of things to learn but it is this little pouch that I have made with a zipper it has a inside lining and it's just very useful when um, you want to carry I don't know medicine or if you go to the gym and you want to carry like travel size shampoo and like conditioner you can put your little um, like travel size products in here and then put that in your gym bag so yes I like this I will probably be making more and hopefully I will get better at making them but yes that uh, these are my two last favorites for this month so that was it for this month's favorites. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried any of these products, uh, what you think of them, uh, if you have any recommendations. Just, yeah, let me know in the comments below. And then if you like these videos, don't hesitate to subscribe to this channel or follow my blog. Um, I always like to uh, interact and communicate with people. So thank you. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next week. Au revoir